I may split these videos into parts as this is a huge tool set and a lot to go over. And I'm still studying what all these nodes do. So this is part one. So what Vonk nodes are, or Vonk Ultra Technology, they create data-driven graphics with the help of a large collection of modifier nodes and a fused-based 2D and 3D vector rendering engine. If you don't know what any of that means, this is pretty much a whole new engine and system in DaVinci Resolve that create graphics using data. The main ones that we're going to go over today are the JSON data type and some of the modifier nodes. If you go into Reactor and type in Vonk Ultra, you will find the download for it all the way at the bottom right here and give this an install. You will have the tool set of over 200 nodes added to your effects panel. All right, let's get into this. Don't be overwhelmed by how many nodes there are that start with a V. They're actually pretty much the same thing, but a different data type. So if we do V JSON points on sphere, there are three different types of points on spheres. They're all the same node. They're just different types of data. First, I'm going to get the V JSON points on sphere and you'll notice that you can't really preview. It doesn't give you anything except for numbers. And if you want to actually visualize what this node does, you're going to need to get a V JSON shape renderer plug that into the node it'll go into the green input and you take a background node put that into the yellow input and then you could go to the media out and now you have these points on a sphere vjson camera projection and this camera projection is pretty much like the 3d camera but for this set of data so another thing that's really cool about this node if you don't know what you're doing at the top of the node it will show you what they're supposed to be connected to so if you're trying to figure this out on your own those little tidbits at the top can help you quite a lot adding a vjson unpacker and a vjson packer basically squishes everything like a pancake and then inside of these vjson perlin noise and this is pretty much uh, just like the fast noise node but with data and you can put a time expression, multiply that by 0.01. Now you have this really weird looking animation. So if you want to learn more about Vonk nodes, all you have to do is go on Google and search up Vonk Ultra, and it should be the first link. And this will give you all the documentation on what every single node does and how to use it. Recently just came out with their MoGraph tool set. This will be used to make motion graphics somehow, and I will be studying it. Anyway, stay tuned for the next part. Adios.